Welcome to this short but very important video. Now this is a follow up to our previous video, the ultimate South Indian filter guide. So if you haven't already watched that, then please pause this video and go ahead and do that first. Okay, great. Now that you're all caught up, I'm going to talk about what's in front of me over here. And you may have noticed in our other video that we poured ourselves a piccolo, but the exact same technique with some small variations, which we're going to be addressing in this video, can brew a very traditional South Indian filter copy. And that's what we're going to show you today. So to talk about what I have in front of me here, I'll start with this. This is called the Dabra and the Tumbler. And it's the traditional way in which South Indian filter copy is served. It has slightly different names in different parts of South India, but um, it's kind of key to the whole technique of frothing the coffee at the end of the whole recipe. And I'm going to show you that. Now let's come to the coffee, which is obviously the most important ingredient here. And the coffee that we use for traditional South Indian filter copy is a little different than what we used in our other recipe where we pour ourselves a piccolo. Here, traditionally, the coffee is a blend of Arabica, sometimes has a bit of Robusta, and almost always has a little bit of chicory. And that's kind of what gives it its unique taste. And the way to get the most tasty and flavorful cup of South Indian filter coffee would be to get medium to darker roast coffee and grind it fresh and then blend in not more than 10 to 15% of chicory. And that's what we found kind of gives you that authentic taste, but also gives you the flavor of fresh, good coffee. The way that it's brewed is identical to the other video. So you can follow that step by step and you will get your decoction or slow espresso. And then that is what we're gonna be using now to pour ourselves a copy. The next thing we need is milk. And the milk here is also a tad different. You need to bring it up all the way to a boil. Yes, you heard me right. You need to boil your milk. And I know this is a big no-no in specialty coffee because when milk is heated over 70 degrees Celsius, it starts to break down. It loses a bit of sweetness and it starts to caramelize. But in order for your filter coffee to taste authentic, that is part of the flavor. So boil the milk. And lastly, this is optional, but usually a traditional cup of kapi has sugar. So that's about it. Now all you need to do is mix these ingredients. And even this is mixed to taste. So some people like more decoction, less milk, and that obviously yields a stronger cup. Some people like it the other way around. Some people like a little bit of sugar. Some people like way too much sugar. So I'm going to go ahead and mix these in the proportions that I like. And then I'll show you how to round this all out with the final manual froth, which is a key part of this whole recipe. Cool, let's do this. I'm gonna start by adding a little bit of sugar. Then put in your decoction or slow espresso. and then your boiling hot milk. You're almost done. And the last step is called the stretch. And this takes a little bit of practice, but once you get the hang of it, it's worth the effort. Pick up the tumbler and pour. And then And I'm done. So you do that till this is cool enough that it only burns you till your esophagus. And you're gonna try and finish the drink before it's cool enough that it doesn't burn your tongue. Just kidding, but it is traditionally called degree coffee. And the reason for that is it's a drunk piping hot and that's how most people enjoy it. So I hope that clarifies things and highlights the subtle differences that exist between using the South Indian filter to brew specialty coffee or the way that we've used it today to brew authentic South Indian filter copy. So go ahead, give this a try and let us know how it goes. And as always, 
take a second to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, we'd love it if you subscribe to us on Patreon. The link is in the description below. That will give you access to exclusive content and Patreon-only discussions. In fact, we're currently running a Q&A about this very brewing method. So until next time, brew Aramsi.